Welcome back. My name is James the Douglas. We're in Uncharted Territory 3. Uh, so we're moving on to the next part of intersection number 4. Now I've noticed that in front of these entrances there's vines, there's cobwebs, and in front of this one there's anvils and iron bars. It says death from above. It doesn't give that sort of impression. It gives sort of a blacksmith's feel. But we've got to be aware of what is above us, evidently. That's the guy. Ooh. Anvils? Uh-oh. 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 Oh. I don't know why I kept saying uh-oh. I should have just acted. Right. So far we've managed to keep away from eating raw flesh. Unfortunately that may not last much longer. But we do still have strength. So let's not waste it. Let's hopefully not die. So death from above suggests that Monument of Perseverance. Fight on. Aftermath. You're almost there, but it gets tougher from here. What? Uh, I don't. Under I don't understand. Oh, man. Right. Oh, there's the um, there's the wool chest right there. The question is, why is it so close? It seems so simple, and yeah, ah. Wait, what was that? I don't know what that was. El Piers, if nobody makes a montage of killing stuff via anvil, then I will be very disappointed. Yeah, whatever. Is it random? I, I've never watched this part. We can't place torches. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Alright. So there's there's some there's there's before we go in, it's always good to analyze the ba the ground upon which one fights according to the art of war. Um, now there's pots, there's pots potting there, if that's the right verb. Oh, there's creepers falling from the ceiling. I kind of want to get rid of this one just to be. Absolutely safe. No idea where this, these keepers were spawning. Anyway, we can at least get a, a better view of what we're up against here. I see damage potions falling as well. I have no idea how he's coded this. Watch him shoot the creeper. The, creep the creeper was definitely mad. <laughs> I was messing about there. I completely understand. I was messing about. What's he doing? Oh, there's a skilly spawner too. There's probably one over there, but whatever. Got that guy. Got that guy. Right, okay. What if there's spawners all around the walls to stop people from going out? It looks like it's two different pots. And it can't be spawners either, right? Because those pots are too far away. Maybe it is spawners, I don't know. Do they all, if they all go in the same position. I really just want to take all my stuff off, put it in a chest and then just run in and see what happens. Let's just walk in a bit, shall we? It's very, very laggy. Oh! Oh, I see. I see, okay. Say no more. Let's run out before I get completely demol uh, annoyed. <laughs> so I believe... Let's see, what's under these? So what's happening is the anvils are falling and getting destroyed on the half slabs, but I don't know if the entity will still be there. I didn't see one. And yes, there's definitely damage potions. If we, if we eat this, we need to go in. If we drink this, we need to go in. What's on top of that? I don't know. 
There's definitely spawners there. No question about it. I can't place torches anywhere. See, there's spawners there. I can't do a single thing. Let's just go in. What's in here? Okay. I've got a bit of respite here. I feel like it's... I don't know. Can we just dig up here, maybe? No, we can't. Not without a bit of cheating. Right, well, at the very least, I'm going to go up here so we don't have to worry about... Oh, man, that's... There's Blaze. Of course there's Blaze. This is the best I can do. Oh, that was a health potion. So it's not all damage. I knew that. Because it was different, there was different particles. Oh man. Go ahead. I really want to get in. I really just want to get in. Easier said than done though. Right. Okay. Let's get in here. And then we can worry about what happens next. Brown wool! Okay, so we got brown wool, but I thought this was green wool. There's something beyond, there must be something beyond. Come on. Right, I still don't understand how this works, there's a cave over there. We need to take this opportunity while we're safe, that is safe in big exclamation marks. How, so yeah, we need to get over there. I think. That has to be the way through. I, I don't see any, any other way. I mean, it's difficult to see with these iron bars, but, you know, it's it's just one of these things. Look, one of the anvils fell there. Okay, so we know where we need to go, I think, to get, get the next wall. I think it's through there. Um, we don't just need to make it out if you're alive. They, say, they may say it's cheap, but at the end of the day, I think I've earned it. I think I've earned it. So yeah, we got brown in the green section, which means green must be further on. I fully expected that to be green wool, by the way. I had no clue that would be brown. But we did it. We did it in the end. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go back there. Not just because it's marked green and we didn't get green wool, but also because we still need to find another potential intersection. Alright, we're not putting the brown wool in the monument yet. We still need to go back for green. Um, and I think we need to go around the back. Now, we could end the pearl over, but I'd rather not use the end of pearl just yet. I'd rather go around the back somehow. Um, hopefully all those mobs have despawned. If they've not, I'm going to be very unhappy. Seems like they've all gone. Alright, we don't need to respawn them. Unfortunately, all the anvils haven't gone, so what we're going to do is we're going to pot. Three minutes speed. I'm just going to run around the side. I'm going to see if that works. Oh, wait. We need to get strength on. Oh. Okay. Strength. Speed and strength. Let's go. Hopefully, we won't get hit from above. If we do, I'm going to be very miffed. So far, so good. Although, that being said, I do see there's like some... There is some anvils here. Oh, did not mean to do that. We made it. We made it. Jolly good show, though. I started lagging for some reason. Oh, no. That's bad news. That's... Very bad news. Oh, I flip. I threw my sword. I think my sword just died. No, it's still there. I see the spawner. Got that. We just need to take it out. Take this one out. We got it. Oh my goodness. I played that so well. Got him. Got that guy. 
Got that. Okay. All good. Ish. <laughs> Got that. There's two over there. There's one guy up there. That was close. There's a zombie behind us. So, this area, I'm not entirely sure what this area is called. It was probably like a, a sign or something. Is there a chest in there? Probably not. It's probably just lighting. Right, we need to go up and get this chest. Not chest, spawner. <laughs> ah, mind blanks, I love them. Right. Oh, we're going further up. It's going to link right back to that other room. Oh, what's in here? Is that a trap? Whoa, it is a trap. You know what? <laughs> it's uh, like a hyper spawner of some sort. I'm just going to take them all out because the less of them there are, the better. I'm sure the new AI will make these guys a lot of fun. Oh yeah, the new AI of mobs because mobs had an AI update in 1.6. Mobs were, uh, or not mobs, um, zombies especially. Zombies were really lame in 1.5, or I thought it was 1.5. Well, either way, and there was in one update the zombies were really lame. I know I've said this about a bazillion times, but it, it was honestly one of my favourite changes to the game. It was just zombies were made so much harder, which okay made CTM harder, but survival in survival zombies were just so ridiculously easy and underpowered. There was a point where I think we were all thinking they were kind of pointless because we were just you know they would just walk up to you and you would just hit them, but then. As soon as they could call their mates and that, it's yeah, it just made it a whole lot more challenging. Felt that was better than charging it and losing more health. This seems to be going up, up, up and away. That's a skelly spawner right there. There's another one up there. That's a skelly spawner too. Oh, there's one there. He's dead. There's another guy up there, but oh, there he is. I'll get this too. I feel it's important to take out these spawners just to be doubly sure. We missed one there. At least he's showing us where they are and they're not just like hidden in the walls. No idea what that spawner was. Was it a skeleton? Okay, so we're still intact so far. There is. Run! <laughs> oh no! That's terrible news. All right, stuff it. Yolo. Leroy Jenkins. Alba Gabra. That is so bad. Rip frames. Uh oh. Okay, we made it. Whoa. Whatever that was, I got it. I shouldn't have done that, but then again, if I hadn't done it, someone else would have. Cough, cough, ghasts. Did I not kill that guy? Let's just get up here. Oh, hey! Intersection 5. Not bad. Uh, I hope my fr this isn't my frames permanently ripped. <laughs> I knocked the, uh, the item frame off the wall. Well, we found intersection 5, which is good. Unfortunately, ooh, our own enchanting setup. Switch them out. Sharpness 5. Lots of good stuff here. Do we have a... Surely there must be a, a, t a TP button, because I really can't be flipped going back that way. I have no idea if there's a TP button. Let's see, that's green wool there. That's... I wonder if that's black wool there. Our leggings broke. Hmm... Suggest there's no. It suggests there's no more. Um, I I know what that way is. I think we're going that that to that place last. I think. I see. I think, but I I can never plan for these things. I want to know what's around there though. All right. Let's just. Nope. Pulled out that. Probably at the right time. We've got strength for another minute or so. Oh, 
Oh no! Right, we need to take out this. Oh. Okay. So after a bit of fighting and a bit of um, cha a challenge, I've kind of... Well, I've not actually secured the area. That's a complete lie. That's a potion as well. I wonder if this is for the area below. Right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to eat. Then we're going to drink one of those OP potions that means you don't have to eat because I'm seriously running out of food. Also, I want to just be able to rush all these guys. Ah, I was hoping he would be able to take out the spawner. Okay. Well, that's a, a lava curtain if ever I saw one. I've just got no clue though what, like... So it's obvious green wool's down the next intersection. They never marked out brown because brown's the joke wool apparently. There's a bit of CTM lore that I never knew until quite recently. That was almost, almost stared right in the eyes of an Enderman. Well, there we go. I think we'll end it there. Although, I really want to know if there's like a, a back button. Oh no, that's not good. That is bad news. Yeah, I really want to know if there's like a, a button to TP you back. Oh, what's this? Almost missed this. Would be such a shame if you had destroyed all the potions. Zombie spawners. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> what a troll. Before I get carried away, because this area is really fascinating me. Or it fascinated me, sorry. I am going to just head in here. Uh, we can get rid of those. Yeah, I really... Wait... Enjoying all the teleporters. Good, you've gained a few pounds since the last map. You should get back to some walking. Oh, right. oh so there's no no teleporters. Well, that's all right. All right I'm going to drop off a bunch of stuff here. This is my plan. I'm going to drop drop off a bunch of stuff here, and then we're going to go back and place the wool, and then I'll end it here. All right. So now begins our dangerous task of getting back. Easier said than done. This is like the one area that's like really dangerous. But I think we can handle it. Hopefully. After all we've been through, hopefully we can handle a few mobs. I see a few, but there's probably like well I mean the fact there's so much lighting around. Yeah, okay, I think I think we should be good. Now let's just run. Let's just book it. No. We're gonna have to make a way around here. I never let this up. That was a silly move, but whatever. Right, made it. Alright, here we go. Brown wool. Uh, let's get placing it on the monument. So we finally made it to the final intersection. Um, when I say I knew what was on that like nether rack area, I don't know fully, but I, did, I do remember seeing one or two uh, videos on it. I didn't watch the videos thoroughly. I skipped through most of them. So... I know, f I know roughly what was there, but it's going to be tough. I know that. We know where green is. We know where red is. And, well, I assume all these three and the diamond block will be situated in this final intersection. But, yeah, next episode we will probably go for the assault on green will. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.